We live in a world where everything you know is wrong. It's time. The Muslims of the 21st century, they have taken people like Tupac, people like Biggie, people like Dr. Dre, people like Snoop Dogg, people like 50 Cent, people like Buster Rhymes, as role models. When you have the best role model that ever walked on the face of this earth, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. My brothers from the Battle of Badr, the Muslims are 313, the Kufar are a thousand. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. From the Battle of Uhud, the Muslims are 700, the Kufar are 3000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. Come the battle of Ahzab, the Muslims are 2,000. The Kufar are 24,000. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The battle takes place and the Kufar are crushed. Come the battle of Tabuk. The Muslims are 30,000. The Kufar are several hundred thousand. Yet again, the commander is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the Kufar see Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his army coming, they disperse and they make a U-turn and they run away. Remember, our line has always ruled with wisdom and strength. This is the role model that the whole world should be following. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wal Aqibatu Lil Muttaqeen. Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Sayyid Al Habib Al Mursaleen Muhammad. Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ashabihi Ajma'in. Wa Man Tabi'ahum Bi Ihsan Ila Yawmid Deen. Amma Ba'a. Dear Respected Brothers, Sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After praising Allah the Almighty and sending salutations on Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I begin by thanking Al Qadr for giving me this opportunity to convey the message of Allah and His Messenger Rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam As I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts my efforts in delivering this message As I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts your lot's efforts in listening to this message My brothers and my sisters if you remember there was a generation who was around 1400 years ago. A generation that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave him a mention. The hadith recorded by Imam Al-Bukhari in his Sahih. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The best of generations is my generation. Then the generation who follows them and the generation who follows them. Who were they? The companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The likes of Abu Bakr, the likes of Umar, the likes of Uthman, the likes of Ali, the likes of Hassan, the likes of Hussein, the likes of Abdullah ibn Abbas, the likes of Anas ibn Malik. Just to mention a few, when they came across verses of the Quran, when Allah said that if your forefathers, your fathers, 
your brothers, your sisters, your family, your children, your merchandises, your businesses, your houses, your dwellings. If anything becomes more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger, then wait for the punishment of Allah to descend. When they came across verses of the Quran, when Allah said, O oh people, if you love Allah, then follow the Messenger of Allah and Allah will love you and He will forgive your sins. When they came across verses of the Quran, when Allah said, O oh you who believe, follow Allah, follow His Messenger and those who have been given authority over you. They understood that there was one role model to follow and that was the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In spite of the fact that they were persecuted, they were killed, they were tortured, they were taken from their lands, they were boycotted, their mothers were killed in front of them, their children were killed in front of them. In spite of this, they understood that there was only one way to Jannah and that was to follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because they understood that they were the best of nations who had been taken out from mankind to enjoin what is good and forbid what is evil. They understood that if, if their forefathers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their children, their houses, their dwellings, their merchandises, their businesses, they understood that if them things had become more beloved to them than Allah and His Messenger, then they would have tasted the punishment of Allah. They had one example to follow, one man to follow, one role model to follow, and that was the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But today, we have the opposite. Many Muslims of the 21st century, they have taken people like Tupac, people like Biggie, people like Jay-Z, people like 50 Cent, people like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, people like Beyonce, JLO, Lady Gaga as a role model and others have taken drug dealers as role models. Drug dealers as role models. Why? Because they think that this guy is a gangster. He's driving a Q7 or a R8 or a BMW or a Bentley or a Ferrari. Because of this they think that this drug dealer is a gangster. But what do these people know about gangsterness? They were gangsters before us and Allah the Almighty, He gripped them and Allah the Almighty destroyed them. The likes of Karun, this guy was a gangster and Allah the Almighty gripped him. Allah the Almighty gripped him. The earth opens and takes him in. This is what happens to a gangster. The likes of Fir'aun, this guy was another gangster. Yet again, Allah the Almighty disliked him. Allah the Almighty hated him so much that Allah gripped him. The oceans open and they crush him. And he's in Turkey Museum today. So mankind will reflect. Why? Because Allah says that we will leave his body right till the day of judgment. So mankind will reflect. The likes of the people of Ard. Yet again, these guys were proper gangsters and Allah the Almighty disliked these people and Allah the Almighty gripped them. The tornadoes came and destroyed them. Now this guy, Nimrud, 
This guy was a proper gangster. I'm not talking about them wannabe gangsters from Alam Rock or from Small Heath or from Spark Hill or from Hansworth or Low Zalf or from Aston or Smethwick. This guy, Nimrud, this guy was a gangster and Allah the Almighty hated his gangsterness. But Allah the Almighty, He sends a mosquito to go through his ear to land on his brain and eat off his brain until this guy drops to his knees. A death of a dog. You want to live by the gun? Then indeed you're going to die by the gun. You want to know about real men? Then look at mans like Harun Rashid and Mu'attasim. Harun Rashid. The Amir al Mu'mineen of his time. A Kafir leader of Rome. He writes a letter and says to Harun Rashid that I will not pay jizya. Harun Rashid, he replies to his letter and says, In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. From Amirul Mu'mineen, Harun Rashid, to the dog of Rome. I have received your letter, you son of a kafirah. Remember one thing. You will not hear my reply. You will see my reply. The army is dispatched and this kafir is bought to the feet of Harun Rashid. This is why he called real men. The likes of Mu'attasim. A Muslim woman is captured. She's in prison. And a kafir slaps her. And then she shouts out and she says, Oh Mu'addasim, where are you? Oh Mu'addasim, where are you? When she says this, this kafir laughs at her and says, Yes, indeed, your man Mu'addasim is coming. He's coming on a black and white horse to save you. The news reaches Mu'addasim. Mu'attasim purchases 17,000 black and white horses. 17,000. The commander is Mu'attasim. The army is dispatched. They go towards this land. The Kufar's army is defeated and is crushed. Mu'attasim is there. This kafir is bought to Mu'attasim. This Muslim woman is bought to Mu'attasim. And Mu'attasim says to this woman that tell this kafir that Mu'attasim has come on a black and white horse to save you. This is why you call real men. And the day someone could reach their level, then you could talk. Otherwise, you might as well do what you do best. Put some bangles on and go back home and eat and sleep. And the Muslims have taken drug dealers as role models. These are the drug dealers. They are putting people's mothers, people's sisters, people's brothers, people's nieces onto crack, onto smack. These are the people who are destroying hundreds of lives. And Allah the Almighty will take revenge. Allah the Almighty indeed, He will take revenge. And the reality of these drug dealers is when they live a dog's life, supplying people's mothers, 